מתחילים. Another malignant thing filling the dermis probably. So the question again is what kind of malignant is it? I mean, you could go a lot of directions with this, huh? Epithelioid cells, round nuclei. I mean, is it a carcinoma? Is it a melanoma? What about now? What is it? Angiosarcoma, very good. This is an epithelioid angiosarc, actually, I think. And they can be quite cellular and very much mimic carcinomas and melanomas, okay? This is a great example, though. These are collagen bundles, and the individual collagen is being completely wrapped and invaded, every space being lined by malignant endothelial cells. And what happens is you get these floating little collagen bundles that are totally wrapped by endothelial cells. And this is like the form of infiltrating. The channels are so anastomotic that it's just made one huge space. Sometimes the epidermis can lift away. You can have the rest of the dermis move away from sweat ducts and sweat glands because it's such abundant infiltration. Um, so this is what you want to look for. This and infiltrating vascular channels, it can be very challenging in some cases to see. Usually when you look to the periphery of an angiosarc, you can find those areas and that'll help you make the diagnosis. This is part of why though I always include a vascular marker in poorly differentiated um, spindle or epithelial things in the skin, particularly in old sun damaged people. These are aggressive. A lot of these patients die. They need rapid treatment and they need to be handled differently than regular sarcomas. If you get an angiosarcoma patient, send them either to Dr. Ravi at MD Anderson or Dr. Van Tyne at uh, WashU. Those are two medical oncologists that have extensive experience with angiosarc and it's so different from other sarcomas. I actually put that in my report now. People can argue or complain if they want, but I care more about the patient getting the right care right away and getting some chance at doing okay. Um, and no one's complained yet. So there's, I'm in a Facebook group for angiosarc patients too. That's been a very life-changing experience, very sobering experience. It's a bad, bad tumor. But I've met some people who have done well and lived a long time and, and been essentially cured. So there's hope. 